What do you think about the New York Giants this season and the Giants Mafia on YouTube? Would it be fair to say that I really don't know? I think I'm the only New Englander right now who really doesn't care about the New York Giants one way or the other. But the Giants Mafia is A-OK -okay on YouTube, yeah! I don't know what I'm doing here. Considering that you have such a marketable degree, in the rare event that you do not get your dream job, what's your backup plan? Do you prefer Burger King, McDonald's, or Wendy's? <laughs> You're funny. Really. By the way, it's prostitution. Who wrote the best book ever? I have to say Milan Kundra. I love the unbearable lightness of being. Who inspired this idea? Well, a couple people were doing it, and then I saw 19 Becca do hers, and I was like, hey! I'm down with plagiarizing. Is it fair that you say you are a trend whore and then refuse to be whorish? I plan to save the whorish behavior for when I feel I need to get more subscribers. With full out wearing bikinis in my videos and shoving my tits up in the camera just in time for the thumbnail. There'll come a day. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. What are three books that changed your life? So I had three books, and then I got here at home, in my hometown, to film this, and then I came across three of my books from my adolescence that changed my life. So, here we go. The adolescent books that changed my life are Matilda, The Phantom Tome Booth, Toe Booth. So here we go. The three adolescent books that changed my life are Matilda, The Phantom Toe Booth, and Bloomability. The three adult books, not children's books, not adult books, not... Porno did not change my life. Thank you. Are The Unbearable Lightness of Being, Veronica Decides to Die, and uh, Hate Crimes Revisited, The Making Sense of a Senseless Martyr. It's one of the few textbooks I have that I read over and over again because I think it's absolutely thought-provoking and provides some really killer insight. No pun intended. What is the first album that you ever bought? I bought the self-titled Genesis album. Cassette and everything. What is the last album you ever bought? In all honesty, I can't remember the last album I bought. I tend to get my albums through a less legal method. And by that I mean blatant shoplifting. What's the dumbest question you've ever been asked? Do I have to answer that one? Really? It's not, not that noticeable? Anyone else not, don't under, already know the answer to this? Okay, it's this one. This is the dumbest question I've ever been asked. God. I've got reason to believe that you are, in fact, a ninja. So what is the name of your cat's clan? What are your favorite techniques? Thank you, but I'm not allowed to disclose the rest of it. If I did, my clan would kill you. Before this video even gets posted. I'm thinking about your safety here. Pop-tarts! Toasted or untoasted? Toasted, of course. What kind of sacrilegious bastard has them untoasted? Do you feel stupid talking to a camera all the time just to create YouTube videos? Can you confirm the rumors of impending madness? I would feel stupid, except for the fact that I feel stupid all the time. At least, this gives me a little bit of attention. And I'm already mad. So... There would be no impending madness. The insanity is already here. Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks? What kind of blasphemous question was that? I'm a Bostonian who stays loyal to her local businesses. Java Jungle, of course. Which country would you like to live in, excluding the U.S., and why? I would want to live in Belfast. I spent a little bit of time in Northern Ireland, and dipping my feet over to regular Ireland every once in a while, and I just fell in love with the island as a whole. And Belfast, loud noises, I fell in love with Belfast. I loved the people there, I loved the history of the place. I've just been wanting to go back for a really long time. What are your thoughts on the presidential race right now? Who do you support? On a related note, I've decided if McCain gets elected, I'm going to use it as a really good excuse to go over to Northern Ireland. Now, I'm not saying I'm one of those crazy hippies who's like, if that Republican gets into office, I'm leaving the country. No, I'm just going to use it as a really good excuse. Like, you know, if I order a pizza instead of a burger, I'm going to go over to Northern Ireland. 
if tomorrow is sunny instead of rainy. I'm going to move over to Northern Ireland. I'm just looking for excuses at the moment. But really, my thoughts on the presidential race? Since August, I've been wishing I could just go in a coma. Because I already know who I'm going to vote for. And everything else is just giving me a headache. I just want to go into the coma, wake up around November 4th, cast my vote, go back into a coma, then, depending on who wins, wake me back up. Actually, please wake me up no matter what. I don't want to be in a coma. I really don't. Kittens or puppies? And what is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten, excluding kittens and puppies? Am I allowed to say both for both questions? But really, the weirdest thing I've ever eaten would probably be a chocolate-covered larva. Wasn't that bad. Kind of tasted like a Kit Kat. What's your favorite thing on toast? Dead babies. Do you think you'll ever have kids? Of course. How else am I going to get the stuff to put on my toast? Hello? Ninja or Jedi? Who's cooler? Um, is that even a question? Ninja? Hello? Ninjas? Like breasts. They're one of the favorite things I love to talk about. Ninjas and breasts. If I could make a ninja out of breasts, I would marry it. That's a really weird concept. Do you think you'll ever write the great American novel? I really don't think so, unfortunately. I absolutely love writing. However, I don't think I'll ever be on par with, say, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, or The Great Gatsby, or maybe even, and it pains me to say this, but Twilight. I mean, I'm a better writer than that bitch. Fuck that fangirl nonsense that, for some reason, is selling millions of copies. I just really wouldn't be able to do it over a thousand pages. I I'm pretty sure I'd shoot myself after page 30. I really would. And Bella pulled back a lock of her chestnut hair and looked at him with her blue eyes. Her lips smiled as she put a finger to her chin and said, Oh my God, I love you so much. I could never imagine life without you. Please be with me always. And, oh, fuck my life. What is your least favorite book and why? Walking Through Shadows by Bev Marshall. It's one of the reasons why I really don't have faith in a lot of female writers. Because in the end, the protagonist is always some deformed yet beautiful darling who's been raped by her father and beaten by random strangers and, like, somehow is so great and, you know, inspires so many people, even though every other page is, she got raped. <sighs> it was the worst book ever. I really didn't like it. I really, I, I encourage you not to waste your time with it, ever. How'd you get so strange? Many nights locked in a basement. I really don't want to talk about it. How are you constantly coming up with new ideas for videos? I basically go down the same route as the early writers for Saturday Night Live. I do a fuck ton of cocaine, and then I go from there. What is your plot to overtake the world? Why have you failed at previous attempts to take over the world? Boobs. I've been talking about them since day one of YouTube, and that's my secret weapon. Boobs. My plot is to bring myself to the forefront and have everybody mesmerized by the fact that I've got breasts and I've got a semi-decent looking face, and everyone is just going to love me and let me be their leader even though I'm completely underqualified, and I'm just going to rule everything because I've got a pretty face. Mm-hmm. Yep. The only reason why I haven't yet is because somebody else is already trying to do it. Fuck you, Palin. Fuck you. Bitch. Taking my... It's a really good idea, but now I can't do it.